Carrie Mulligan is one of today's most talented stars. From her early years to her surprising turn in Promising Young Woman, she's built an impressive film career. But her journey to stardom wasn't always a straightforward one. Here's the stunning transformation of Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan was born in London and moved to Germany when she was three years old, on account of her father's job as a hotel manager. And from a young age, Mulligan realized she wanted to act. She told The Guardian that while she was at a school in Germany, my brother was in The King and I, and I went to rehearsal and was completely enraptured by the whole thing, and desperately wanted to be in it. She allegedly wept until they gave her a part in the play. From then on, she said, she was just interested in one thing. I wanted to act. Mulligan grew up asking her brother to write her plays. She eventually became the student head of drama at her boarding school when she returned to the UK, according to The Times. Mulligan recalled, I was a drama geek. I was most definitely not one of the cool girls. Alongside her interest in acting, Carrie Mulligan grew up with religion as another major influence in her life. Her religious upbringing made her something of a goody two-shoes. She admitted to The Guardian, I had a terrible guilty conscience from an early age, but she explained that religion wasn't a negative part of her life. She recalled, It provided a real community, and that lasted into my adulthood. Her love of church comes from the same impulse as her love of acting. Mulligan explained, you're surrounded by people all the time, and I love that about going to church every week and singing in the choir." As Mulligan told W, her relationship with religion didn't change much as she grew up. It's still a big part of her life, even though she keeps it private. After graduating high school, Mulligan auditioned for drama departments at three different universities. According to The Times, she was turned down by all three schools. I really wanted to go to drama school, I didn't get in, um, but I was, <laughs> which, but was totally understandable because I was so ridiculously out of my depth. Instead of giving up, Mulligan looked for another entry into the acting world. Even though her parents wanted her to pursue a steadier career, she wrote to novelist and creator Julian Fellows, who had given a talk at her school. As fate would have it, his wife replied and invited Mulligan to a dinner for aspiring actors. Fellows introduced Mulligan to director Joe Wright, who was looking for new faces for his 2005 film Pride and Prejudice. Mulligan was cast as Kitty, and the rest is history. After appearing in Pride and Prejudice, Mulligan quickly found more success, with roles in TV series including Bleak House, My Boy Jack, and a theater production of the Seagull. She told The Telegraph, Every job I do is like going to drama school. Carrie Mulligan's early career took off quickly with a series of impressive roles, but she initially struggled with feelings of inadequacy and doubt, particularly in her first play. She told actor Margot Robbie in an interview for Vogue, The first play I did, I was about 18, and the director had to prize me out of my dressing room and force me into rehearsal and into the warm-ups because I was crying. Mulligan explained that her co-stars in the play all had professional training and theater experience. She said, I had done one film and had no idea what I was doing. But just three years into her career, she had made a name for herself on stage. In a a review of The Seagull, The Telegraph wrote, Her reviews were certainly the stuff that careers are built on. Mulligan told Vogue, I feel like I'm on a film set, and I don't adapt anything else other than making my voice louder. I still make the same choices. Even though Carrie Mulligan was hugely successful as a professional actress, she realized the danger of falling into typecasting. She told The Guardian in 2014, I used to have a typecast thing, and I fought my age and baby face. When I was younger, I used to play much younger than myself, all the time, and that got a little bit tiring. Mulligan fit a certain type in her early acting years. In Pride and Prejudice, she played 17-year-old Kitty, a young woman in the Regency period. In Bleak House, she played the angelic young heiress Ada Clare. In Northanger Abbey, she took on the role of Isabella, a slightly ditzy young lady. A corseted woman was quickly becoming Mulligan's forte. So she distanced herself from these young, wide-eyed roles. Mulligan said about her recent roles, I don't think recently I've played a particular type. Carrie Mulligan quickly racked up an impressive list of credits in her 20s. She was just 24 when she was nominated for her first Oscar for her performance in an education. When she wasn't appearing in starring roles in big-budget films like Shame, Drive, and Far From the Madding Crowd, she was back on stage. Mulligan confessed to The Times that she was a bit of a workaholic. She admitted, I used to freak out if I didn't have back-to-back -back work lined up. When she wasn't on set or on stage, Mulligan was preparing for her roles, writing poems and drawing into notebooks. Researching of roles also became a big part of her process. Mulligan confessed that she did months of research for her role as Daisy in The Great Gatsby. As Mulligan explained, her workaholic mentality developed out of imposter syndrome. She said, I didn't get into drama school. I didn't go to university, so this was my homework. While Carrie Mulligan can hardly complain about her career, she did hit a point around 2011 when she started to feel unsure of her next move. She told The Guardian after she had just made Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, It was a great experience doing Wall Street, but it didn't feel there was a depth to the character. After being disappointed by the film and without any upcoming projects that excited her, she felt slightly adrift. So Mulligan's agent took her to lunch and gave her advice that changed her mindset. Her agent told her, You shouldn't take a role unless you can't bear the idea of anybody else doing it. Um, and so that's sort of been my way of working ever since. 
It wasn't until the script for Shame came along that she found the meaty role she was looking for, and being selective with her work is still something that the actress is careful to do. According to Entertainment Weekly, Mulligan has passed on big films because she knew the roles weren't the right choice for her. As rumor has it, Carrie Mulligan met Marcus Mumford, lead singer of the banjo strumming band Mumford & Sons, at church camp when the two were just 12 years old. Mulligan and Mumford eventually reconnected at a house party in Nashville, Tennessee in February of 2011. The pair began dating soon after, and less than a year later, they got married. The Daily Mail reported that the wedding took place in a picturesque barn in the British countryside, with Mumford's father officiating the service. Mulligan has always been private about their relationship, she told Vogue. Marcus is the only thing that's mine that I can keep totally away, so I try to. The couple's friend, Sienna Miller opened up to Vogue about their relationship, sharing that what she loves about the couple is their normalcy. Miller said, They both come from very solid families and have a real sense of the life they want to live. They have chickens and a dog and roasts and friends, jams by campfires. It's sort of idyllic. Carrie Mulligan gave birth to her and Marcus Mumford's first child in 2015, and their second in 2017. While Mulligan is always very private about her family life, becoming a mother was an eye-opener for the actress. She told Baby, It's undeniable. It changes everything. After her first child, Mulligan ended up taking two years off from acting. After her second, she was less afraid to get back to work. She said, With the second child, you're a lot less paranoid, and I definitely felt I was ready for new challenges this time around. Having kids made Mulligan choose projects with more care, and it gave her new insight into playing maternal figures. She recalled that playing a mother in a film is a bit more intense now. Mulligan said, I'd played mothers before without having ever known what it's like to have your own child. Despite being something of a workaholic, Carrie Mulligan still finds time for charity work. One of her biggest projects has been collaborating with War Child, a charity for children who live in war-torn areas. The actress explained to Glamour that being a longtime ambassador for the charity became a very important part of her life and helped shape her perspective on the world. On her first trip with the organization in 2014, she traveled to Goma, Congo, where she met a young girl whose story stuck with her. Mulligan recalled, She would dream at night that men would come into her house in the middle of the night, shouting, hurt her, take her away. She was 11 years old, and that was her fear. Mulligan realizes the privileges she has, living a comfortable life in a safe environment. She has also realized her responsibility to speak up and use her platform for those who are in need of a voice. She said, It feels like you have to do it. Carrie Mulligan's main focuses have always been career and family, but over the years, a new focus appeared. She began to cherish her female friendships. She explained to Porter, My female friendships have become increasingly important, particularly the ones with friends I made when I was 14 at school. Mulligan says that these are the people who have been there with her through it all. As she put it, It's something about doing stages of life together and supporting each other. Her school friends have become an important constant for Mulligan, and her friendship bonds sound pretty adorable. Mulligan revealed, Every year we do our birthdays together because all our birthdays are within six days of one another. It's great. Mulligan's female friends also offer her support when it comes to living a life in the public eye, or as she jokingly called it, Twitter and all that stuff. While the coronavirus lockdown was difficult for just about everyone, it did come with a few positives for Carrie Mulligan and her family. Mulligan was finally able to settle down and enjoy family life when everything shut down. The actress told Harper's Bazaar that her life before the pandemic was undeniably hectic, with her husband spending months on tour followed by her own time filming on location. The pandemic gave her a more normal life. She developed new hobbies like knitting and even started reading regularly. She said, I've never been able to be part of a book club. The pandemic also gave Mulligan a sense of some goodness in humanity. As she told Vogue, A lot of it is so sad, but also when you see examples of humanity at its absolute best, when people are really doing astonishing things. Carrie Mulligan took on the role of Cassie in the 2020 film Promising Young Woman, written by Emerald Fennell. It's a film that really needs to be watched more than once. Mulligan's part in the picture turned out to be something of a career-defining role. Not only did she receive praise, nominations, and awards, she got the chance to play a fascinating lead. As Mulligan admitted to IndieWire, she was hooked from the moment she read the script. She said, That's what I love so much, every five pages getting wrong-footed. That was so refreshing to read something and have no idea what was going to happen with each character. Writer Emerald Fennell said that Mulligan was born to play the role. What do you think I'm talking about? I didn't do anything! We, we were kids! Oh, if I hear that one more time. The writer said, Carrie is so good and just famously good, and she chooses so carefully, and she's really always kept to her own journey in terms of what she picks. Because Mulligan is naturally such a private person, she has an enigmatic quality on screen. Fennell gushed about Mulligan, saying, She was my dream person. Mulligan's career has led her to this fantastic project quite naturally, and chances are, there will be many more great things to come from her. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about celebrity transformations are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.